For young people with borderline personality disorder, they can't regulate their emotions, which means that they have trouble when they're angry to calm down and they have trouble with difficult mood changes that they find they can't control. And it affects them in all areas of their life, so with their relationships with their friends and family, and they have unstable emotions, also a lot of anger. So what we did is we had a group of 20 young people that had borderline personality disorder and a group of 20 healthy young people that didn't have any form of mental illness and we compared them. So we showed them a series of pictures and they were pleasant, unpleasant or neutral pictures. While we did that, we measured their skin conductance, which is a measure of how stressed they were when they were looking at the pictures and also their eye startle, which was measured with an electrode on the muscle near their eye. So what we thought was that young people with borderline personality disorder would react more strongly to the unpleasant um, and neutral pictures because that's what we found in adults, but in this study that's not what happened. What they did was underreact to the unpleasant pictures, but they responded in a similar way to the healthy young people in every other aspect of this research study. So this is the first study of its kind in young people. And that's significant because they're at the start of their illness and there's hardly any information about how a young person's brain works at the start of the illness. So the results are really important because they give another piece of the puzzle to how emotions are processed in borderline personality disorder and they they show us how they're processed in young people at the start of the disorder. Also, it gives us an idea of how to help them. So when they come in for therapy, we actually understand more about what's happening in their brain so that we can give them strategies to improve the way they process emotions on a day-to-day -day basis.